So we've got a teeny tiny Zig program here, and uh, I think we might be leaking memory. We're using the general purpose allocator, and one of the nice things about the GPA is that it's supposed to be able to tell us if we are leaking memory. So I'm just curious. I'm going to go ahead and run this and see what happens. This ran and no real output, so I think we're in the clear. Uh, however, we're, we're not in the clear. Actually, what's going on here is we are leveraging the general purpose allocator, but we're not actually showing if we are detecting memory leaks. So uh, there's a really easy way to do that. And what we can do is we can add uh, gpa.detectLeaks. And this will be true if we have leaks, and it will be false if we don't have leaks, uh, which is great, but we need to output that somewhere too. So we can use standard debug print and format our Boolean with the any formatter here. And now if we write this and then give this a run, we can see that we have some errors down here. We can see that we are leaking memory. Memory address, there's the address, and we can see that it leaked. Uh, you can see information about the leak. You can see where it's coming from. And uh, has memory leak is true. So that's how you detect memory leaks with the general purpose allocator in Zig.